आउट रॉकी बिकेम माई फेवरेट फिल्म देन वाइट हाउस डाउन टेक हिम इंडियन फिल्म लाइक शोले मिस्टर बच्चन ऑल दीज गाइज आई ग्रोन अप वॉचिंग दैम सो वैन आई ऑलवेज कैन ऑल्सो आई वाइल ग्रोइंग अप आई ग्रो अप इन इन अ नेबरहुड वेर लाइक यू नो अ मैन इज वेर ही कैन फाइट लाइक टेन पीपल एट वन पॉइंट एट वन टाइम सो आई वॉज ऑलवेज इन दिस हेड माई ओन हीरो आई वॉज ऑलवेज मैनिफेस्टिंग दैट वन फाइन डे आई विल बिकम अ कमांडो वन प्रॉब्ली आई विल सेविंग पीपल सो ऑल दो स्टोरीज वर हैपनिंग बैक ऑफ द हेड वैन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप How are you doing today? Great, Lord man. How are you? I'm doing really, really good. Very excited to speak with you both. Um, I know you guys are very, very busy. I'll try to be as brief as possible. Um, so I'm just gonna hop right in. Um, so uh, Nikhil, I'm starting with you. What inspired you to create Kill? Like, can you tell us about the early beginnings of this project? Uh, it comes from a personal experience. Uh, I was on one such train which got robbed. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yes, yes, yeah. It was way back in 1994, 95. I was a student. I was traveling, and uh, to be very honest, I was sleeping throughout the time, so I did not see anything happening. Okay. But when I woke up, I, I saw there too many cops all around, and I got to know my next coach, which was which was a first class coach, which got robbed by 25, 30 robbers. and uh, there were there were also a bunch of soldiers who were traveling in my compartment like my coach uh, which did not get robbed and they started saying that you know if the robbers would have tried robbing this coach we would have shot them we would have we would have really beat the shit out of them that that wow has been that story stayed with me for the longest time so this is the genesis of that uh, the killer's genesis the story is the genesis of kill What made you choose Lakshya for the role of Amr? Like, how did you know that he was going to be the right fit? Ah, uh, you know, I go a lot of, with my instincts. Um, and I met uh, Lakshya uh, for the first time. This is this is the only time I met him before uh, casting him. So I met him. I narrated the story to him. He was all very excited, and I could see when I was telling him the story, I could see so many expressions on his face. you know he was like every time when i would tell there was there was there was love coming on his face then there was guilt there was rage there was anger there was there was sadness so i could see that you know he's getting the story really well and the best part about lakshya is that you know he's got this pair of eyes which are you know um which can shower so much of love as well as rage at the same time you know so uh and and Amrit the character which Lakshya plays has got like he's got two different um, you know two different sets of uh, uh, emotions so in the beginning he's he's a guy who's like fully uh, you know madly truly deeply in love with a uh, besotted with his girlfriend and he wants to you know there are hopes and dreams of starting a new family with her a uh, new life with her and that and those get like you know those get trashed and then then a person changes and he goes through morphosis and becomes a monster so you know these two things which are the which which were very very important for uh, for amrit to happen and so that vulnerability and that and that that relentless rage uh which laksh is 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 fully you know he uh he has it in him so laksh nikhil is describing some really powerful emotions and reactions can you tell us how how did you feel what are these emotions that you felt the first time you heard the script for kill like what attracted you to the role of amber uh see i'm i'm immensely inspired by action films i'm massively inspired by action films like from the time rocky came out rocky became my favorite film then uh, white house down take him uh indian films like shole mr bachchan all these guys i've i've grown up watching them So when I always and also while growing up I grew up in a in a in a neighborhood where like you know a, a man is where he can fight like 10 people at one point <laughs> at at one time so I was always in this head my own hero I was always manifesting that one fine day I will become a commando and probably I will be saving people uh, so all those stories were happening back of the head when I was growing up so then cut to I became an actor things started happening and then kill happened when I heard kill for the first time no mm-hmm. being rushed back and it just felt like a moment of oh you know i manifested something i was asking something and it just happened 
and uh, it was uh, exhilarating to be honest <laughs> i was on cloud 9 when i heard the script and uh, the way he narrated every point because what you see in the film everything was penned down by him nothing was nothing was like was happened just happened or improvised on sets it was everything from a small slash to a massive slash everything was written detailed nuanced so i was just imagining myself doing all those scenes all those scenes when he was narrating them and by the end of it my only question to him was that when are we getting started <laughs> as soon as we can and yeah and i couldn't and that's why like the the, the training process went on for 8 months and i was so excited that i didn't even miss a single day i was just going every day day in day out maintaining my diet uh, working out uh, looking the best looking like a commando and <laughs> throughout the process i was excited and even now when i talk about it it just it, this stirs a certain emotion in me well talk about it a little more like what was it like that first day of filming like you're getting in between those and you're getting ready to do these tight action sequences what went through your mind when you were making these magical moments so i have a little bit of experience in action because i had done a show uh, called porus which had quite a lot of action in that uh, so i was little comfortable but that space genuinely concerned me a bit because it was too restricted it was it it was not allowing me to fully flow because i have like i'm a i'm a big guy like i have my, i couldn't extend my arm also to an extent plus you have to make sure that you're not hurting the other person he's not hurting you there's a cameraman right behind you <laughs> there are other actors also so just being aware of your surrounding uh, i was a little nervous not a little nervous i was very nervous i was like sweating and all and to myself i was just forcing myself you know how you when you're extra nervous you start telling yourself that okay bro you're the best you're the best that you you can do it you can do it so all those pep talks started happening in my head uh but then of course like uh it went not very smooth it uh, went a little it was a bumpy ride but eventually we found a very a sweet spot where we all became comfortable with the space and when that happened okay now we are confident then we felt home we were like okay now we can we, we got this Well, what was the collaboration like between you two? You know, you bringing your action experience and Nikhil being so detailed. Were there any particular moments where your ideas really combined and clicked? I think throughout the film, not <laughs> even a single point where we were conflicted or we had some sort of uh, discussion. We had discussion, but like, yeah, discussion. but not to an extent where like we have to convince each other. We were convinced with each other throughout the film, and like we didn't have to talk each other out of any conversation. uh there were days then uh when he there was a very unsaid bond that we started sharing after a while like he could understand what i want i could understand what he wants out of the scene so i remember that everybody on the set because he he just he came one fine day one fine morning i'm sitting in my vanity getting uh my makeup done and he just looked at me and i'm sitting with like puffy eyes in a zone listening to some uh sad music i don't want to feel happy and you know i'm down that road and he looked at me he just said He just raised his thumb up. He's like, "Are you good?" Like through his eyes, he's saying, "Are you good?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm good." And then he left. And then the, he he saw my face. He he went to the sets. I think everybody was told by him that okay, he's in a zone right now. Nobody should go around him. Nobody should talk uh, frivolous stuff around him. And let him be in a space. And I didn't even ask for that. So when I reached the sets, I saw a massive change in people. The whole set was just like. not they not giving me all the time they were giving me they just made me comfortable they made me feel very important each and every day on that set that that's amazing yeah. well i i know your time is very valuable um i'm i'm going i really appreciate you both speaking with me as i let you go are there any other projects you're working on or is there anything you're work um you have coming up in the future that you're excited about after kill Will you guys work again together, please? Of oh, course. <laughs> But if if Kill gets a lot of love from you guys, then we are definitely working on part two, for sure. Excellent. Very. I, I. I'm. I'm really, really hoping to see you guys collaborate again. This is a, is an amazing, a movie, amazing experience. I'm going to be doing everything I can to encourage my audience to check you guys out. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate your time. Well, thank you so much.